When working with Photoshop, you often have to work within certain guidelines and text safe areas, and that's especially the case with website design. You'll also need to align various elements as well as making sure everything is pixel perfect. To help us achieve that, Photoshop has rulers, grids, guidelines, and smart guides we can utilize. Rulers help you measure out and position images or elements precisely. To activate rulers, simply press Ctrl R on your keyboard, or you can go up to View, Rulers. Rulers in Photoshop have a point of origin, with the coordinates 0, 0, meaning 0 horizontally and 0 vertically. The point of origin is usually on the top left of your canvas, but can be changed by clicking and dragging on the top left corner between the rulers. As I reposition the origin, you'll notice the coordinates are not 0, 0 anymore. You can reset the point of origin by double clicking the upper left corner between the rulers. You can change the unit of measurement used by the ruler. The quickest way is to right click the ruler, then choose a unit you prefer. To make more detailed adjustments, double click a ruler then make the desired adjustments. Alternatively, you can go up to Edit, Preferences, Units and Rulers to access the same options. Grids and Guides help you position various images or elements precisely. In order to activate grids, go to View, Show, Grid, or you can use the hotkey, Ctrl apostrophe. You're able to modify how grids are displayed by going to Edit, Preferences, Guides, Grids and Slices. Under Grid, you're able to change the color and style of grid lines, as well as setting grid line distances and subdivisions. One thing to note is the point of origin of the ruler will interact with the grid. If your point of origin is not 0, 0, then the grid will reflect that. To make use of guides, first make sure you have enabled rulers. You can do so by pressing Ctrl R on your keyboard or go up to View, Rulers. To create a new guideline, click and drag on the corresponding rulers. If you want to create a horizontal guideline, click and drag the horizontal ruler and vice versa. Holding down Alt while creating a guideline will essentially reverse the guide orientation. While holding down Alt, if you drag on the horizontal ruler, a vertical guideline will be created, and vice versa. When you're creating guidelines, hold down Shift to snap to each increment on the ruler. If you know the exact position a guideline needs to be, go to View, New Guide. Select Horizontal or Vertical, enter a position, usually in pixels, and click OK. To move a guide, first make sure the Move tool is selected by clicking on the Move tool in the left toolbar, or you can press V on your keyboard to quickly activate it. Simply hover over a guide and drag to reposition it. You can change the orientation of a guide by holding down Alt while you reposition. To remove guides from your canvas, simply click and drag the guide outside the image window. You can remove all guides at once by going up to View, Clear Guides. You can also lock guides so you don't accidentally move them. Using the keys Alt Control Semicolon will also achieve the same. You can show or hide all guides by pressing Control Semicolon. Just like grids, you can customize the setting for guides. Go up to Edit, Preferences, Guides, Grids and Slices. Under Guides, you can change the color and style of guides. There are two additional settings to help you. When Snap is enabled, Photoshop will assist you with precise placements of various objects such as shapes and selections. For example, I'll create two rectangles. When I move one closer to the other, you'll notice they snap together. Sometimes when you're making detailed selections, snapping will cause problems, so just turn it off when that happens. Smart guides are pink lines designed to assist you in aligning objects. Activate or deactivate it by going to View, Show, Smart Guides. They appear automatically when you draw a shape, create selections, or reposition objects, etc. This wraps up rulers and guides. See you soon.